Walking any dog that pulls is not enjoyable but it is doubly distressing when it's a large, powerful, and energetic breed like a German Shepherd. You are most likely going to have to train your German Shepherd not to pull on leash. Before we move on with this video, you need to grab the free dog training secrets guide in which I have disclosed the deepest dog training secrets that professional dog trainers don't want you to know about. These training secrets would help you have a well-behaved, super intelligent, smart and obedient dog without spending hours in training him, her. Link to the free, secret training technique guide is in the description below. Leash pulling with German Shepherds is often a result of their curious nature compounded with their high energy. This is especially true in new environments where they tend to get overstimulated wanting to sniff and survey everything around them. I know from experience that the more excited your dog is to walk the more pulling is going to occur. When Ali was a puppy the beginning of walks were like a pulling festival. However, once we got toward the middle of the walk and she was less excited she walked next to me naturally without any hassle. Your dog's walking discipline will serve as the foundation for all activities you will engage in so it's important to train your German Shepherd not to pull on a leash as soon as possible. When to start training for no pull walks. If you get your German Shepherd as a puppy, start training them while they're young. Their size makes a difference because this task gets more and more difficult the heavier they get. If you don't get your German Shepherd as a puppy, no problem. Start leash training as soon as they come home if they don't already have proper leashing walking skills. Best time for leash training. Many people make the mistake of trying to do leash training as a substitute for or combined with regular exercise time but it's actually best if you set a dedicated time for training. The most ideal time to engage in leash training is after exercise or active play. This is when your GSD has already expended excess energy and is going to better listen and focus. You always want to set your dog up to be successful and trying to train a rambunctious energy-filled GSD puppy isn't going to yield that result. Steps to train your dog to not pull on a lease. Step 1. Prepare for training. To start, get your dog used to wearing a collar and leash. For some German Shepherds, the newness of a leash may be distracting, and they'll tend to sniff, chew, or tug. Get them over that excitement before starting your training sessions. Also, decide on which side you'd like for your dog to stay while walking so you can get them to favor that side early on. It is common to teach your dog to walk on your left side but chose the side that's most comfortable for you. The side closest to your dog will be your treat hand and the other would be your leash hand. Step 2. Get the behavior. Use your leash hand to loosely hold the leash and your treat hand to hold a treat by your side, at your dog's sniffing distance. Capture their interest by getting them to sniff the treat and then slowly walk a few steps to see if they will follow. If they do, give them the treat and praise them for doing a good job. Do this a few times and let them realize that yummy treats come when they walk with you. Another tip is whenever your dog starts to pull, change directions. Step 3. Name the behavior. Get your dog to walk with you for a few steps, say, heal, or whatever word you want to associate with the command, walk a few more steps and then release the treat and praise your pup again. After doing this successfully a few times, they'll begin to associate the heel command with the behavior of walking beside you. With me, means just walk at my side in a relaxed manner. Basically it means don't pull me down the street. Whereas, fuss, means heal with attention, like the healing in obedience part of Schutzhund. Step 4, make it more difficult. In this step, you'll need to hold a treat in each hand. Close one hand into a fist, use that to lure your dog into movement and after about five steps, say, heal. If your pup stays with you without being distracted for 10 to 15 steps or so, praise them and release the treat from the other hand. Doing this will keep them from being fixated on the treat and they'll eventually realize that following your fist will still bring good things. Gradually increase the steps after the heal command as your dog gets the idea. Once your dog can heal for 10 to 15 steps, increase it to 20 to 25 steps, and so on. Step 5, Command the Behavior. Once you've perfected the steps above, chances are your German Shepherd can already associate the heel command with the behavior of walking beside you. 
You can test this by holding a treat in your leash hand and then no treat in what used to be your treat hand. Keep holding your treat hand in a fist even if there's nothing in it just so things aren't too different and your pup won't get confused. Get your dog's attention with your fist, say, heel, and then start walking. If the pup walks nicely beside you, treat them using your leash hand. Continue practicing this and gradually build up distance. The goal here is to minimize being motivated by the treat and then get them to realize that they're doing a great job just by staying beside you and following you where you go. Eventually, you won't have to hold your hand into a fist and they will be following you at your side whenever you say, heal. Step 6, Perfect the Behavior. Practice in the real world. Slowly move your training sessions to different places so you'll have the opportunity to perfect this behavior. In new environments, your German Shepherd will be more likely to pull but now that they understand the heel command and the rewards that come after, you'll have better chances of getting the desired behavior even with the distractions. Do you want to have a well-behaved, obedient and calm pet dog without spending hours in training him? Check out the first link in the description and download the Secret Training Technique Guide absolutely free. It is available for free only for a limited period of time. Thanks for watching the video. Comment below if you liked the video. Please subscribe to the Little Paws Training channel if you are serious about training and grooming your dog. Also, join our Facebook group where you get all the solutions to your daily doggy problems.